What's going on guys? Welcome to another video in my Unity devlog series and in this video I'm going to be making an island in my game and adding boats. I had a bunch of fun making this. It was a little bit math intensive but I still got through it. I still managed it. It was really fun and if you watched my last video you do know that I am actually removing farming from my game. Yes, this is true, but I'm still going to show you this video because it was still a part of my journey as a game developer. So this is going to be a part of my devlog series. So with that being said, roll the tape. Roll the tape, Jerry. God, you're so useless. You better not post this on YouTube, Jerry. <laughs> All right, so now with that being done, I want to add a boat to the game. And I also want to make it so that you can kind of start fishing. You have different lakes that have different fish and different parts of the lake will have also different fish. So I'm gonna try to get a boat working right now. So let's do it. All right, I guess it's time to find a boat. Ugga chugga, ugga chugga, ugga chugga. Victor Stoke. And voila, there's the boat. Now, if you thought the bakery's quality was bad look at the boat's quality look how bad that is that is bad but now we have a boat and i also found a pretty good sprite sheet for it so that's all cool all right boys i made some input for the ship to move around let's test it out rick is going to be the captain so rick is gonna have to go to the ship but look at him he's about to walk on water he's about to walk oh man He goes inside of the ship. Can you imagine that? Now let's do this. Let's see if my movement works. Um, no. Uh, oh, okay, hold on. Sail boat. Now let's do it. Rick, get inside of the boat. Walk on top of the water, ye faithful lad. A ba boom, and everything should be working. Uh, oh my, what the? What? All right, I changed the movement from position to local position. Enough sounding smart and all. Let's just see if this actually worked. And let's do it. Oh my, no, nothing changed. Why? Excuse my ugly code. So I did all this garbage here. But that, whoops, that doesn't matter because it should work now. I bet you this works. Um, uh, man. I think this will work. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we shall sail the sea. Oh, yeah. Now I just need a lot more water and a lot better movement and animations. So let's do it. All right. I just realized how stupid all this code was. And I literally replaced it with three lines of code. And now if you move the boat, it has smoother movement. It's not like super snappy and weird. And you can move in a circular direction. But right now you can move on land, which is pretty cool. But first I'm going to worry about animations because I love animations. <laughs> All right, so what I needed was I needed a collider for my ground so my boat wouldn't be able to drive on land. And this is what happened. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not good at all. This is pretty good, actually. So now if we go to the b -b 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 boat. Yeah, and now I have a problem with Rick walking on top of the boat. But let's see what happens. And we can still go on land. Oh, look at that. I can collide now, but that looks so messed up. To dynamic and babush. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, I feel so uh, sick. I can't use dynamic. So what do I do? But maybe if I just keep X open. I mean, this kind of solves my problem. All right, boys, I finished the boat's movement, but I want to make some kind of like little lake right here. And let's just see how this turns out. And I'll show you a surprise with the boat's animations and movement. 
And voila, that's the shape of my island for now. All right, check it out, boys. Now, if I go to the boat right now, instead of simply moving the boat, I just add force to the boat. So I could do this going, 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 and then force is pushing me towards the direction that I was currently going into. But yeah, look at this, boys. I got some boat. I need to make the water look better because it looks horrible. It's just blue. <laughs> look at this. I love drifting. I think I want to make a boat drifting mini game. All right, I need to add a lot more cool effects to my boat. <clears throat> Let's see. Particle effect, a uh, better force system, um, some yaw, some tilt, some pitch, some roll, all that good stuff. Physics, math. Let's do it, boys. This actually is kind of fun. I'm excited for this. All right, so I need a control pad for the corner of my screen for when you're controlling the boat and because this is a mobile game. And believe it or not, I actually drew something for myself. It's totally not because I could find anything I like on the internet. Oh yeah, that looks good, boys. Now let's put some fake controls in. Okay, I need to get rid of those bubble particles so that they don't... Sh oh my, what the... Okay, all I did was add brakes to my boat. What happened? All right, let's see if the brakes work. Uh, no, the brakes are not supposed to speed you up. Okay, so I want to show you what I added. I added the miles per hour text. I added these two crosshairs so that the red crosshair indicates that you're going pretty slow. And the blue one shows that you're going pretty fast. My brother doesn't like it. I'm probably going to remove it. All right, so I made it so that the faster you're going, the higher the bubbles will go. And it'll also emit more bubbles based on your speed. All right, I changed the particles back to bubbles because they just look better. I know it's not realistic, but that don't matter. Nothing is realistic. All right, so I really didn't like the shape of this speedometer bar. So I went in Krita and painted my own masks for the bar. And if you don't know what a mask is, well, let me show you. So I have this mask. I give it an image and it looks like that. Now that actually looks pretty bad. <laughs> Darn it. What about this one? That looks better. Anyways, yeah, it just looks a ton better. All right, boys, I'm scared. I'm about to play my first audio clip in my whole game. It sounds kind of silly, but just see how it sounds. Oh, wow, that is interesting. Oh, yeah. All right, so I properly added the boat sounds. Let's see how it sounds. All right, boys, I just got the new sound effects. Now let's see if I can make some good sounding boat. Let's hear it. All right. All right, I'm gonna fix the sounds later. So what I did next, I continued to add whirlpools. So basically what the whirlpool is, you're just going to be randomly sailing around and I'm going to have whirlpools spawn randomly. And when you finally find a whirlpool, you're going to get to fish on the whirlpool. So what I want to add right now is biomes and fishing. So let's do it. Are you kidding me? Right in the center of the world. <clears throat> all right. With all this code, now I should be able to spawn a whirlpool. Let's go try finding the whirlpool. Oh, wow. <laughs> There it is. A whirlpool randomly spawns. Now when you get next to it, it's going to give you an option to go fish in the whirlpool. But then after that, you fish. All right, so with some awesome code. Now if I go and find a whirlpool, a button should pop up to start fishing. So let's do that. Oh, there it is. Let's see if the button pops up when I get close enough. Um, no, it doesn't for some reason. Why do you do this to me? All right, I figured out the problem. Aha, there it is, there it is. Oh, yeah, there you go. It works. Fish. It says fish. Oh, booyah. Kasha. Awesome. All right, guys. So I have a problem. So if you hit fish, it'll take you to a separate scene and Unity doesn't save scenes. So I'll have to make my own saving system, which is pretty complicated. But you know what? I'm a coder. It's what I do. And I have to learn it one way or another. So let's make a save system. All right, boys, I made it to the other side. It was actually really easy. I don't know what I was scared of. Let's jump into the boat. And as I move the boat around all the way up here, press S to save. And let's go move somewhere. 
And then when we hit L, we should be able to load our data. Let's see if this works. Why, why did nothing happen? Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, I was supposed to process the save input. <laughs> How do I always forget these simple things? But let's just go and then let's go load. Oh baby, it works. We have a load system, but yeah, basically <laughs> easy stuff. Now, when I hit load, I need to remember that I was operating the boat and I don't want to implement that just yet. I don't have a way of getting out of the boat. So once I save myself in the boat, there's like no getting out. So I'm going to make an option to get out of the boat and let's do it. All right, I forgot what I said yesterday, but I think I said something along the lines of trying to exit the boat. So now you can exit the boat if that's what I was talking about earlier. So check it out. It kind of looks like this. So if you just slightly bump into the wall, you press this little beautiful button right here. Poof, ow, and Rick comes out like a maverick. Don't mess with this guy. Oh, I just realized I had the boat audio on sorry guys ugly sounds right, let's save me being in the boat when i load the game so let's test it together so if i go on my watercraft go right next to this pewdiepie mountain and if i hit save and i turn off the game and if we hit play i should be inside the watercraft on start let's go Ah, uh, what happened so i need to call everything off of the awake function rather than the start function because awake happens before start so now let's see if everything loads in properly um no it does not all right everything should work now because i call this line of code before this line of code and if you don't know what that means it's basically like a dog going towards a bone before you even threw it so the bone doesn't even exist, so it never even comes back with a bone. So it just throws an error. Except for dogs can't throw errors because they don't have hands, but it doesn't matter. Oh wait, and I just realized that this doesn't even work. <laughs> I was just monologuing. And then if we hit play, it doesn't even work. Let's see. Load operating watercraft. All right, this probably will work. Hit play. Okay, I just have a camera error. What if we just like, yield return no just wait a frame Let's wait one frame and then we start operating the watercraft all right now this should work oh baby and now we're operating the watercraft on load and do you know what this means boys now when i go back from fishing you'll be still on the boat which is awesome all right that's it for this video thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it in the next video, I'm going to be literally making an entire fishing game. I don't know if I can compact that into one whole video, but with that being said, I'll see you later.